In an earlier video, I, you know, took that picture from you and uh, that was all about taking a screenshot with Xamarin Essentials 1.6. I've now discovered a library just this weekend um, that can, you know, take partial screenshots. I think that were a couple of questions under that screenshot video. And now there is a library that take, lets you take partial screenshots of any visual element within Xamarin form. So let's see what it's all about. So on the left in Visual Studio 2019 for Mac, you can see a file new Xamarin Forms project. This is the template that you get out of the box on Windows as well. The experience is just the same, but I'll be doing this on a Mac. Um, this is what you're used to by now. If you've been following this channel for a little bit, if not, please click that subscribe button because there is lots of more good content coming. So. Stay tuned. Anyway, on the right, there is the iOS simulator, which is um, running the application you can see on the left. And um, this is what the template looks like. So let's update the title right here and say um, partial. Ooh, this is going to be long screenshot sample that going to fit. Save it. And with hot reload, you can see it reloads automatically um, without you know having to stop and restart my application. I'm going to need to do that anyway, because I need to install a NuGet package. Um, in fact, let me just do that right now. So I'm going to stop my project right here, go over to my solution, and then right click on the um, solution level and say manage NuGet packages. So here we go. And I'm going to search for image from Xamarin UI. There we go. Um, so it should come up. There we go. Extension method for capturing images from UI. It's a pre release right now. So make sure that you have that pre release box ticked as well. Um, because else you won't be able to see it. Maybe if you're viewing this video a little bit in the future, then there's a stable version. Um, but right now we need to do this as a pre release. So add package, we need to add this to all of our projects because you know, it has a implementation for Android iOS, I think that's the only two platforms that are supported at least for right now. Um, and of course, we need to have our code in our shared project as well. So click OK, it's going to add those three packages except the MIT license that is attached. So let's just do that and wait for it to um, finish up here. There we go. And um, now we are ready to capture part of the screen. And that is really, really cool. Because um, like I mentioned already in a previous video, you can take screenshots on the whole um, application that can be done with Xamarin Essentials 1.6. Um, but you can do this now for like on any visual element. Um, so to make that possible for now, um, let's give this stack layout a name. Um, let's just call it stack or let's call it root actually root because this is like the root thing, right? So we're going to see the whole page basically here. And I'm going to give this frame a name as well. Um, this is going to be just the header, right? So let's just do that header thing. Um, and then here down at the bottom, I'm going to add a extra button uh, that will actually capture the thing. So let's make it text capture capture. There we go. And let's add a clicked handler so we can actually do anything. Um, and I'm also going to add a image here. I'm just going to show the image right now in our application. And I'm going to give that a little name of result image. There we go. Um, so we're just going to show that image. But of course, you just get the stream of that image. So you can save it to the gallery, you can send it back to your um, to your service and, and get some debugging information out of it. Of course, you know, notify the user and don't do anything. Uh, that you're not supposed to do. But you can do all kinds of things, you can just get the data out of that image and um, process it any way you can. So let's just um, oh, I'm not going to run the application just yet, I'm going to implement the button clicked handler for this one. So I'm going to go to the code behind of our main page here, you can see the button clicked is um, generated for us. And what we can do now, this is actually an extension method. So it might be uh, wise to do using um, image from Xamarin UI, there we go. Um, so it makes it a little bit more discoverable because the IntelliSense, you know, then you have to guess the exact um, method name, which is kind of hard. Um, so let's just do that. And what we can do now is say var image stream is and then we can say root dot um, capture image async, there we go, that is our extension method. Um, and all it does basically is, you know, get that root. So get that visual element, which is in our case, let's go back here, our stack layout and everything in it, of course. Uh, so this full stack layout will be included in our image. So in this case, it's just going to be the full page, but you know, just to get the point across right now. Um, and what we can do then is say result 
image dot uh, source is image uh, source dot source come on source dot from stream here we go and we can just add that image stream in here and well at least that should be possible oh we need to do this async so there we go uh, this is a task so we need to await this because it says async so they you know they use the right method name but i just didn't see it uh, and async here so there we go now it should work okay here we go now we can run this and we should be able to just see you know click that button and see our full stack layout um, as a screenshot as an image that you can use to actually view the image again or you know do whatever so let's do capture and you can see boom it automatically captures my full um, stack layout as a image down here as well so that is pretty amazing one line of code just boom get that partial screenshot in there but here is what is get really interesting because um, let's stop this for a little and um, go back to our example and i named my frame header actually yeah let's do this header thing so we're going to go here and change this root to header and when we run this again it will be no surprise that it will just capture the header now so just that part of the image, which is really, really cool because you can now take partial uh, screenshots from your screen. Um, here we go. And you can just see the header and not everything that is below it in that stack layout. So it will just take whatever you feed it as a root, root node, um, take everything in that, include that in the image, and then you can do whatever you want with that image. This is a little library that I didn't want to keep from you. Um, so here you have it and here is how to use it. So that is pretty cool, right? You can just take that visual element and everything in there, you can take a screenshot from that. So this can be very handy whenever you, you know, you have some kind of um, shake to provide feedback um, from your users to the developer, that's probably you. Um, so you can just get that partial thing in there or maybe you want to share some information on the screen to social media and you can just capture that one thing that you already formatted really nicely, turn that into an image, post it on social media um, or what other things can you think of? Um, there's probably a ton of scenarios that I didn't think of. Please let me know in the comments because I'm always happy to be inspired by you. Um, thank you again so much for watching. If you've liked this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel because new content will be coming and we are with a growing number of subscribers, which is really cool. Consider becoming a member so you can support me a little bit and else I will be seeing you for my next video. Keep coding.